You've probably heard people say, never judge a book by its cover. And, well, that's because it's generally good advice. But when it comes to someone's drink, all bets are off the table. After all, your drink of choice is a reflection of who you are. It's not just a glass of delicious liquid refreshment. It's a tell. Just ask any bartender. They've served up enough lemon drop shots to know a train wreck when they see one. So we've pulled together a list of commonly ordered drinks to assess what your favorite drink says about you. In the name of science, of course. Let's begin, shall we? The Martini. Much like your drink of choice, you're a classic. Refined, suave, and sophisticated. You scoff in the face of fly-by-night trends and prefer relying on a simple and subtle combination to communicate your timeless style. When you're ready to let your hair down a bit, you throw a splash of olive juice in there, which is your way of saying, Dear world, I'm ready to get down and dirty. But not too dirty, because I dropped a dime on these slacks. The Long Island Iced Tea. You just turned 21. Next. Whiskey Neat. Paging Don Draper, your drink is now ready. Straight to the point and no bull. You're not here to mince words or dabble in niceties. You know what you want and you want it now. Because you know a good thing when you see it. And when you finally get it in your hands, you take your time with it. You savor it. You relish the mouthfeel. Wait, we're still talking about whiskey, right? The Pina Colada. Well, one thing's abundantly clear. Someone here has a raging sweet tooth. After all, the pina colada is basically a glorified tropical milkshake. But there's also something a bit more subtle at play here. Maybe it's a yearning to break free from the rat race and escape to a tropical wonderland where all of the hardships of life dissipate and you can freely pursue your dream of teaching yoga to squirrel monkeys in a thatched hut by the water. Or maybe you just really like making love at midnight by the dunes of the Cape. Whatever floats your metaphorical boat. The Negroni. Balanced, bittersweet, and a bit zesty. That pretty much describes both the drink and the person ordering it. If you're cozying up to this gin-based cocktail, you're secure in who you are and don't feel the need to impress or use a lot of flash to gain admirers or friends. Bartenders like that. Hell, we like that. Let's be friends. Vodka and soda. Oh, you're on a diet, tough break. Either that or you're obsessed with CrossFit. But everybody already knows that because in between sips of your drink, you're telling them about that massive back squat PR you hit yesterday and how wicked your friend time is while secretly making eyes at your best friend's margarita. The margarita. Margaritas are the gateway drink to more robust and complex tequila cocktails. So someone ordering a marg largely plays it safe. They enjoy long, meandering nights of chilies or TGI Fridays and possibly drive a minivan. But they also have a deep appreciation for an expertly made fish taco and a bowl of queso. And we can definitely get on board with that. A shot of anything. The Good Times Committee has entered the building and you're the head chair, the life of the party, the instigator, and a karaoke Jedi. You're always down to ignite a scene and take as many people as possible with you. Your battle cry, the highly revered woo, can be heard within an eight block radius. And there you have it, a veritable Myers-Briggs test using spirits instead of an ambiguous set of questions no one had time for. So next time you're at a bar, take a minute to think about your next drink. It says more about you than you would think.